Hello and welcome to the Joy Trade Resources podcast, where we dive into the fascinating world of joy design, craftsmanship and industry trends. And I'm thrilled to have you join us on this journey, whether you're a seasoned professional, an aspiring designer or simply a lover of all things sparkly. There's something for everyone in our conversations with the brightest minds in the jewelry trade. So let's get started and uncover the hidden gems of this captivating industry. And today we're understanding the modern jewelry workshop from traditional spaces to one person factories. In the world of jewellery making, the workspace serves as the backbone for creativity and craftsmanship. Traditionally, a workshop refers to a place where manual labour is performed without the aid of machinery. However, with the advent of modern technologies and tools, the boundaries between workshop and factory have blurred. Many independent jewellers now employ mechanical equipment in their workspaces. These contemporary spaces, often operated by a single person, have expanded the definition of a workshop to encompass what might aptly be termed a manufactory. These changes not only signify the evolution of jewellery creation, but also bring about new considerations from a legal perspective. Understanding the key differences between workshops and factories can help to shape our perception of the world of jewellery making. By law, a workshop is defined as a space where manual labour is employed, without the use of any machinery powered by mechanical forces. On the other hand, a factory is a space that does employ machinery driven by mechanical power. This stark contrast with respect to the use of machinery is a fundamental distinguishing factor between a workshop and a factory. In the realm of jewellery making, these definitions provide an interesting perspective. Many independent jewellers who might be thought of as working in a workshop actually use mechanical equipment, thus falling under the category of a factory. However, given the small scale and often one-person nature of these operations, a new term might be more fitting, manufactory. This term encapsulates the blend of manual craftsmanship and mechanical efficiency found in many modern jewellers' workspaces. When we think of a jeweller's workspace, our minds often conjure up images of cluttered benches strewn with hand tools and precious materials, but in reality the workshop of a jeweller can be as diverse as the pieces they create. From compact corners in urban apartments to sprawling spaces in rural areas, a jeweller's workspace can essentially be any place where the art of jewellery making can be effectively carried out. The only constant in a jeweller's workspace is the presence of creativity, precision and an unwavering dedication to the craft. The environment must foster these elements, offering a space that allows the jeweller to focus on and translate their artistic vision into tangible pieces of art. Therefore, it's not uncommon to find jewellers working in spaces that might not traditionally be considered workshops. It's their expertise and creativity that transform these spaces into productive jewellery making hubs. Regardless of the location or size of the workshop, it must accommodate the specific tools and materials needed for jewellery making. These can range from hand tools like hammers, pliers and files, to more specialist equipment such as soldering torches and polishing machines. In essence, a jeweller's workshop is a tailored environment that suits the unique needs and practices of the jeweller. The modern jewellery making scene has seen a significant transformation with the emergence of independent jewellers. Today many artisans have ventured beyond the conventional definitions of a workshop, effectively operating one employee factories or what we might term manufactories. As independent jewellers incorporate more mechanical equipment into their practices, they find themselves navigating the dual roles of artist and manufacturer. This shift offers a host of advantages, including increased production speed and enhanced precision, often resulting in a broader creative scope. However, running a manufactory also presents its own unique challenges. Independent jewellers need to balance their time between craftsmanship and machinery maintenance, all while ensuring adherence to safety regulations that typically apply to larger factories. Overall, this new reality reflects the dynamic nature of the jewellery industry and the adaptability of its artists. The fusion of traditional craftsmanship with modern technology in a manufactory setting is indeed a testament to the ever-evolving landscape of jewellery creation. The traditional notion of a jewellery workshop, often envisaged as a realm of hand tools and manual craftsmanship, has undergone a considerable transformation with the advent of modern machinery. This transformation has broadened the definition of what constitutes a jewellery workshop, now potentially embracing settings where advanced mechanical equipment aids in the creation of intricate designs. 
The integration of machinery into the jewellery making process has led to a revolution in terms of efficiency, precision and complexity of designs. While manual skills remain essential, machines have enabled jewellers to expand their creative horizons and experiment with designs that would have been difficult or even impossible to achieve using hand tools alone. A variety of mechanical tools are now commonplace for the independent jeweller's workspace, each offering unique capabilities. For instance, lathes and milling machines allow for precise cutting and shaping, while drill presses enable accurate hole placement. Computer-aided design machines, on the other hand, bring a whole new level of precision and repeatability, allowing jewellers to reproduce intricate designs with incredible accuracy. Laser cutting and laser engraving machines too have found a place in the modern jeweller's arsenal, offering an unmatched level of detail and precision. These advancements not only accelerate the production process, but also open up opportunities for the creation of intricate, detailed and consistent designs, so redefining the landscape of contemporary jewellery making. In the dynamic landscape of jewellery making, understanding the legal nuances of running a one-person factory or manufactory becomes paramount for independent jewellers. The line between a workshop and a factory is blurring at best, and navigating this grey area requires a basic understanding of the potential legal implications. Firstly, the legal definitions of workshop and factories differ from region to region. It's advisable to check the local laws and regulations to ensure that your workspace adheres to the local legal definitions and safety standards. This might involve elements like the usage of machinery, adherence to health and safety standards and following correct licensing procedures. As an independent jeweller, you might be using mechanical equipment which according to certain laws could classify your workshop as a factory. While this might seem intimidating at first, it doesn't have to be a hindrance to your work. In fact, with the right information and careful planning, you can continue creating amazing pieces of jewellery while staying within the confines of the law. One of the major areas to consider is safety regulations. Factories or manufactories often have stringent safety standards to adhere to. This might involve having proper ventilation, fire safety equipment and certain structural requirements for the workplace. Compliance with these safety standards not only ensures legal safety, but also creates a safe and conductive environment for your creativity to flourish. In conclusion, while there may be legal implications involved in running a one-person factory, these should not deter you from your passion for jewellery making. It's all about finding the right balance between creating your masterpieces and adhering to legal standards. And always remember, when in doubt, seek professional legal advice to ensure your workspace complies with all the necessary laws and regulations. As we journey through the world of jewellery creation, we observe an interesting evolution of the jeweller's workspace. It's no longer confined to the traditional workshop, it's now a diverse platform encompassing solitary setups to one person employee factories or manufactories. This shift reflects the innovation and adaptability of the industry, embracing modern machines to elevate craftsmanship. While this transformation enables greater artistic flexibility, it carries its own set of complexities. The blurred lines between workshops and factories can bring about legal implications, so it's vital for independent jewellers to stay informed, adapting to the evolving landscape of the industry while adhering to its legal framework. With the industry's progression, independent jewellers must navigate these changes with diligence and creativity. After all, the heart of jewellery creation lies not just in the shimmering gems and metal, but also in the innovative spirit of the artists who craft them. So, continue exploring the fascinating world of jewellery creation with us, sharing insights, experiences and resources. Stay tuned for more information and articles on our website. And that's a wrap for today's episode of the Jewelry Trade Resources podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining us in our exploration of the ever-evolving world of jewellery. We hope you've enjoyed the insights and stories from our experts as much as we have. If you'd like to stay updated on future episodes and join our vibrant community, be sure to subscribe to our podcast and follow us on social media. So until next time, wishing you inspiration, creativity and success in all your jewellery endeavours. And goodbye. <laughs>